This it's a corn dog. If you've ever been to the city of Bristol, you've likely had the smell of corn dogs hit your nose at least once or twice. It happens a lot. And that's because of Monogram Foods, which produces more than 2 million corn dogs per week. An incredible number. Now, Monogram Foods is working with the city of Bristol in order to dub the community the corn dog capital of the world. It's a bold claim, and they're backing up by hosting their first annual corn dog festival. Let's see now if the city of Bristol can live up to the new name. Corn dogs, corn dogs, and more corn dogs. The festival was held at Congdon Park and was chock full of dogs of all kinds at every turn. And according to the volunteer workers at Monogram Foods that hosted the festival, the community reaction was through the roof. Um, the people, everybody's come together so great. Um, it's been wonderful to get the word out in the community about the greatest corn dogs on the face of the earth that we make right here in Bristol, Indiana. And this isn't just a new concept. The idea has been kicked around for a while. Um, so about a year ago we started having discussions of like how can we have a bigger impact in the community and that's where someone said, what if we did a corn dog festival? <laughs> so how did Monogram Foods even get started in giving the city a whole new nickname? Um, that was just a lot of partnering with the city, uh, just having conversations. I mean, one of, one of the things is uh, Monogram has been in town for quite a while, but not a lot of, whole, a lot of individuals have heard of us or knew about us, and uh, there's it's more corn dogs produced here than anywhere else in the U.S. So we wanted to highlight that and kind of make it something that Bristol could be proud of. Then, of course, there's the question. What exactly can you do at a corn dog festival other than eat the corn dogs? Well, there's always live music to check out. Folks can stop at the pavilion for some high-class corn dog theater, Yes, the corn dog is the resplendent melding of the worlds of cornmeal, hot dogs, and with sticks. Then there's the opportunity to play a few games. There's the corn dog ring toss. Oh, so close. And of course, you can't have a corn dog fest without cornhole. There's also one of these, but honestly, that just looks too scary. And beyond the fun and games of the festival, all the proceeds are still going to a good cause. We love this town. We want to be as much a part of it as we can. And there's nobody doing better work in this community than the food pantry. So um, every, all of the proceeds of the festival that we make here today, every t-shirt that we sell, all the corn dogs that we're selling, all of those proceeds go to support the food pantry here in Bristol. The shirts produced by Monogram Foods, well, they were red and yellow for ketchup and mustard. Let's just say some folks had strong opinions about the condiment battle. Well, I realize that some people might put ranch dressing on a corn dog, but it's blasphemy. I'm a mustard girl. Some people choose ketchup, but this is the ultimate battle in corn dog condiments. And if you missed out on the corn dog festival this year, don't worry, because Monogram Foods already has plans for the corn dog festival in 2023. By just about every measure, the first annual corn dog festival was a success, and Bristol certainly deserves that new nickname. It also succeeded in making this reporter pretty hungry. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Dante Stan.